Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to purchase Google Space. Maybe for the case that you're using Google Space for storage. That's for the purpose of storage of your photos, documents, and other uh, other other files. Uh, maybe you're running out of space. Like for my case, I'll give you an example. I'll show you how I already uh, consumed my 15 GB that usually been offered by Google when you open a new Gmail account. So I needed to continue using the Gmail account so that to create a portfolio of my data in one Gmail account. Guys, before I proceed, remember to subscribe, like and share, give us a thumbs up and give us a comment on what to cover and give us a suggestion on what to cover. I'll proceed through the steps on how to purchase or you need to add your storage to the Google Drive that you are using. I'll take you step by step. First, I will need to go to my Gmail account that I'm using. You can see that the, my storage is showing it's uh, 15.02 out of 15 GB. It's already consumed. I'm out of storage. So I needed to purchase some more storage so that I can be able to continue storing my file. You can see that my account is indicating my account storage is full. So I'll take you steps on how to purchase the Google Space. Uh, you need to go to your phone or the gadget that you're using according to your drive. Go to Play Store. And uh, the top right corner, there is a Google account that you have already signed in your Play Store account. You scroll down, you, it will take you to payment and subscription. Then you need to go to payment, payment mode or the payment method. Then you need to be having a, a debit card or a credit card so that the deduction that you are purchasing the space can be deducted from the card. Previously, the, the payment were being made through M-Pesa Express, but currently they are using a, a debit card or a credit card. So I will take you through. For my case, I have a credit card. So I will click uh, add a credit card. I've already keyed the, my visa number. That's uh, on your debit card or the credit card. It usually has 16 digit number. There's a CCAV code. They are usually down there on the back plate of the debit card or a credit card so you need to key in those details then the payment method i've already been uh, allocated in the payment section so i need to go back yeah you can see the already the subscription has been already been discovered then i need to go back to my gadget then to my gmail account that i'm using you can see the gmail account is indicated it's already full now i just need to go back and refresh now I'll click on the account payment where I need to be given a discount. Try Google One at one discount. They usually give you when you are first time, and they usually give you a, a discount purchase for the space for at least 100 GB. The basic uh, recommended stage, the standard is 200 GB. The premium is two terabytes, but the prices differ as the as you continue. So I will need to get the offer. For the basic basic category that's 100 gb i'll click that one i'll wait for the terms and condition then i'll agree i'll wait for the system to update it will say it, it has indicated the billing billing uh, invoice uh, monthly billing 100 gb retire for three months introductory pricing starting today then it will proceed for 30 days and uh, then it will be on a renewable charges there it, 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 it can either renew it on annually or in on a monthly basis so I'll be able to back up my data with 100 GB. It will be of much help. Then I'll wait for the system to activate the payment, the billing process. It doesn't take long. Then your uh, payment successfully. Do you require authentication of purchase? So do you need to be, to prevent authorized purchase? Are you required to authenticate for all purchases made through that account? yes i just need to to click yes then you click ok uh, now you have managed to get the space do you want to manage no i don't need to manage i've already uh, allocated my google space into segments according to the files that i'm uploading then uh, i've already the payment has already been successful i just need to go back to my gmail account and refresh You can see the storage is already allocated. Uh, the storage used is 15 GB that I had already previously been allocated by Google. Now I have uh, out of 100 GB, so I have around uh, 85 GB to consume. And now you can see 
that's how my Google Drive looks like. Uh, Google Photos have allocated 14.4 GB. Gmail is accumulating 491.9 MB. Google Drive is uh, accumulating uh, 45.7 MB. So I already have the space to store my data. That's how you purchase your storage so that you can be able to arrange your portfolio in one email. Guys, I hope you have learned something from the video. Remember to subscribe, like and share. Give us a comment on what to share. And I will see you in our next video.